but also there's probably this element that it's easier as well, right? Like it's easier probably to get out of trouble basically by printing money. Is there an element of that? Yeah. Oh, look, there's three or four things, but printing money has got to be one of the biggest ones, right? I mean, quantitative easing was something which was really interesting when you get into the history of it. Quantitative easing was initially introduced by the Japanese central bank back in the late 1990s, early 2000s, following kind of their crash. Again, it was an economy that was struggling to deliver growth, struggling to come out of that recession. And so come 2008, 2009, when central banks were trying to figure out a way to help their economies and help them recover through the global financial crisis and after it, then I went, oh, hold on a sec. There's this really innovative new piece of kind of financial engineering that we can have a look at out of Japan. And that was quantitative easing.